hey uh welcome this is going to be another video on power query we're going to be touching here power query and how we can actually unpivot or unwind more than just one column uh, here we actually have a simple cross tab report uh, the first column it actually has the products uh, the second one is a subcategory of those products uh, maybe you, you can think about here adding like a territory column or a, a, like a code or anything else you can actually have as many columns as you want it doesn't matter what you actually have here the case here is that you have this that actually looks like a data set that you could possibly use in a pivot table but then you actually have this here which is just values and those column errors that really don't don't help you that much uh, you will actually or in my case I will actually just like to have this as just one column for the uh, years and then another column that will actually show me the values for those uh, respective rows so this is the definition of a cross tab report uh, we have this column headers here the row headers here and it's basically just like a pivot table we want to unpivot this or unwind this uh, first what we need to do is that we need to transform this into a table I'm gonna do control T my table has headers yeah okay now that it actually is a table I'm gonna go to the power query tab or ribbon and I'm gonna say here from table Excel data it's gonna grab that table and it's gonna open up a new window and then it's gonna be showing me like this really cool way this really cool user interface to actually do all the transformations that I need so this is the really cool query editor uh, and it's just a simple a simple clicks with just a simple clicks we actually have we actually will we will get what we actually want so I wanna keep this and this I, I don't wanna change any of those but what I need to change is this all the way up to here I'm gonna choose all of them select all of them right click on any of those and then you're gonna see here on pivot columns as we actually did on the last video just click on pivot columns and it's gonna do what we actually want it's gonna create this which is gonna be called attribute I'm gonna rename this to year and then we actually have the values for those years so sunset secretary a in 2010 it was this one all the way up to 2014 it was this one and it's basically it is now a simple data set that we can actually use later uh, for pivot table or for anything else so just click ok or done sorry and it's gonna drop that new table into a new worksheet it says here that it's actually downloaded 40 rows and you can actually work with it you can actually do anything that you want if you want uh, this is a this is like a quick way to show you what we can do so that I can actually uh, put it here I'm gonna put it right here or you know what I'm gonna put it here I'm gonna put the products here sub product year columns and you can see now that hey it actually is the same way that we actually did it last time uh, Carlotas uh, 108 uh, well this is actually doing the uh, the ran between so it actually changed all of this what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna be control paste and since those actually change well I can actually to go just go back here click refresh it downloaded or actually did the transformations once again the actual transformation once again I can go back here just refresh refresh my pivot table now and it has the correct information it actually shows Carlotta's uh, 108 uh, for 
this 2013 and 2014 171 so it is correct and is that easy just download power query and you're good to go thank you